Hello and welcome to Nicholas Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following sample of winning weights was report for a set of beef calls, calculate the variance and standard deviation of these weights and in order to solve this problem we need to use this formula. In this formula we see mu which stands for the population mean. That means that we have to find this population mean first and how do we find it? We just have to add winning weight of 12 calves and divide by number of animals. So divide by 12. So let's do it. So mu would equal to first animal weights 515 pounds plus second animal weights 430 pounds. Third animal weights 475 pounds. Next one. 565 pounds and so on. In order to save a time and space, just imagine that we have to add all these weights of all the animals and divide by number of animals and number of animals is 12. And we are going to get that uh, mean of the population is going to be 506.25 now I am going to slightly modify this formula. So we are going to find variance. So variance is going to be sigma squared. Variance would equal to sum of the square difference between data set minus mean of the population. For example, first animal weights 515 pounds minus mean of the population which we have found 506 pounds so 506 pounds point 0.25 and squared plus second animal weights 430 pounds so plus 430 pounds minus mean of the population 506.25 also squared and we have to repeat this many times with every number in this data set. So basically we also have to modify this formula because n here stands for the population, but we have a sample of population. So in our case we have to divide not by 12, but by 12 minus 1 or by 11. And the answer is going to be that variance would equal to 3082.4. So this is going to be a variance and in order to find standard deviation we just have to take a square root of the variance. So you see the square root. So let's take a square root. So sigma stand for the standard deviation and we have to take a square root of 3082.4 and we should get here 55.5 this is going to be pounds and this is going to be standard deviation from the mean of the population and this number is going to be variance so sigma squared is variance and sigma is a standard deviation. And the difference is only that we took a square root here. Some of you may think why we have to square here and then take a square root here. Can we just uh, use the numbers without these two extra steps? Let's take a look. For example, here 430 minus 506.25 is going to be negative number and here 515 minus 506 is going to be positive number. If we would leave without squaring we are going to get just cancellation of positive numbers with negative numbers and we are not going to get any variance at all or it's going to be completely different. But when we square negative numbers we are going to get positive numbers. For example minus 2 squared is going to be 4. 
minus 2 times minus 2 is going to be positive number 4. That's why first we have to square the difference and then take a square root. This is how we get standard deviation from the mean. Now let me show you on the graph. Imagine that this is y axis and this is x axis and here is our population and distribution resemble bell shaped curve. On the x axis we have a distribution of the weights from minimum to maximum and on the y axis we have a frequency of the appearance of these weights. And from our calculations we have found that mu or mean of the population is going to be 506.25 pounds and this number represent mean of this population or sample of the population. Now when we have also standard deviation from the mean we can plot it on this graph. So 55.5 goes to the right and to the left. So 55.5 plus 55.5 would give us 111 pounds. This is what we call one standard deviation from the mean and here we can find 68% of all variability within a population. We also can take another standard deviation from the mean. So this time it's going to be two standard deviation from the mean and this time this range would include 95% of the variation in this population and we also can take three standard deviation from the mean and three standard deviation roughly would give us 99.8% of all variation in this population. Variance and standard deviation from the mean we use in statistics and plant and animal breeding and selection is based on statistical analysis. So we have many applications for this formula which I would show you later in my following videos. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.